All right, y'all, today I'm gonna show y'all how I make my seafood gumbo down here in New Orleans. Let's go. All right, y'all, so go ahead on, turn your heat on, onto a medium heat, okay? Go in with one cup of vegetable oil, and let that go ahead on, y'all, and heat up for a good two or three minutes. All right, y'all, so I want y'all to go ahead on there with one cup of all-purpose flour, y'all. Okay, right here now we're making the roux. And just go ahead now, look, just give it a mix, you know what I mean? Just watch on splash that hot oil on you, okay? And we want this to be a dark brown, so as it, you know, goes ahead and gets closer, I'm going to go ahead and show y'all that five minutes. It should take about maybe 15 to 20 minutes, but I'll go ahead and show y'all every five minutes and show you exactly what you want it to look like. All right, y'all, so check it out. This is just one minute in, but I want y'all to see what it looks like. Now, when you go ahead on and make your roux, you're always going to be mixing it, y'all, the whole time. You cannot walk away from your roux. All right, y'all, so this is this is our roux, y'all, at about here five minutes. Just remember, you cannot stop stirring. You can't walk away. All right, just keep on going. That ain't nowhere near dark enough, but we getting there. All right, y'all, so go ahead on and check it out. It's getting, you know, a more brown consistency to it, but definitely not where we want to be, and it's been about eight minutes, okay, y'all? So just keep on going and keep on mixing. For my friends that ain't used to making a roux, okay? It may smell to you like it's burning, but this is it's not burning. Trust the process and just continue on, okay? All right, y'all go ahead on and check this out. You see the color of this here? That means we almost there. You're not there yet, so just continue like I say. Mixing on up, all right? Nothing crazy, you ain't gotta be mixing everything, but just something like this, you know what I mean? All right, y'all, so check it out. After 20 minutes, this is what the roux looks like, it's done. Go ahead and sit your root to the back burner, y'all. Get it off the heat and just leave it there. Let's go do some vegetables. Now go ahead, y'all. I want y'all to cut up five stalks of celery, okay? All right, y'all. So I want y'all to take two onions and go ahead and finely dice these onions just like we did our uh, celery. And then we'll move on. All right, y'all. So check it out. We finally diced the yellow onions. Now look, bell pepper. Big green one. If you can't get a big green one, like if you can't get one this big, y'all, Go ahead and get your two small ones and do just the same, you know what I mean? And we're gonna go ahead now and just finally dice this one as well, okay? Just like we did everything else. Check it out, get you some fresh parsley and go ahead on y'all and get you a good little half a cup, okay? Finely chopped. Roux is made, vegetables are all cut up. Go ahead and put that to the side and let's get down to the sausage and the, and the shrimp and all that dead goodness. Got two pounds of pre-cooked smoked sausage, okay? Go ahead on and get you some nice pieces, like about like that, okay? You definitely don't want them too thin, but you definitely don't want them too thick either. So something like that would be just about perfect, okay? Just cut a ball like so. All right, y'all, so sausage is all cut up. We're finally getting somewhere. Let's go to the stove. Now, to start us, don't worry about my raggedy pots. I've been doing a lot of cooking, okay? Go ahead and throw your sausage in. All right, y'all, so now just go ahead on, y'all. We're going to get a nice brown coat on both sides. And what we're doing is, is not only we're getting that, that sear on it, but we're looking to get the grease out of it, okay? We don't want the grease from all this sausage in our gumbo, okay? So keep that in mind. That's what we're doing. Let's make it happen. All right, y'all, see what that looks like right there? Got a nice sear to it. Go ahead and put that right up in your strainer, like so, okay? What do is go ahead and let that grease drip on down up in your... Whatever you got underneath it, a pot, bowl, whatever it is, okay? All right, y'all, so the roux that we went ahead on and made, look, then got thick on us because we set it to the side, remember? So go ahead and drop it on the heat for just like, I don't know, 30 seconds, less than a minute, you know what I'm saying? And then we're gonna go ahead on it and be ready to be poured into the pot we're gonna use to make this big old pot of gumbo, okay? All right, y'all, now I want you to go ahead on there with your roux, every last bit of it, okay? Scrape all that up in there, we need all of it. All right, y'all, so now you done added in your roux, I want you to go ahead on with all the vegetables, y'all. Now the fire's on a medium heat and go in with all your vegetables, okay? So there goes our onion and your bell pepper and, of course, all of our celery. Half a cup of fresh parsley. Like I said, y'all, that's on a medium heat. I want you to go ahead on and get all that there coated down. Okay? Make sure everything's well mixed. All right, y'all, so go in there with eight quarts of chicken broth. Oh, Lord.
spoon went down. When your spoon goes in the gumbo mixture, just go ahead and pull that out and start stirring. And if anybody's in the kitchen with you, just act like it didn't happen, okay? All right, y'all go with three tablespoons of onion powder. With three tablespoons of garlic. Like so. And then I want you to do, y'all, go with three tablespoons of Cajun seasoning, okay? Give or take. Go ahead and give all that there a good mix around. See that this here, uh, the root that we put in there, y'all, is this here heats up okay? And everything starts to combine, you're gonna start to see it getting darker, okay? So don't, don't panic at this point because your gumbo ain't dark yet. Oh, you don't you worry. You made that root look like I showed you there? I guarantee it's gonna be some good old gumbo. You see it just, it's cool right now. See the root's just floating at the moment, you'll see. Give it about a good five minutes on this heat, maybe 10 and watch what happens. All right, y'all, so go ahead up in there, y'all, with six bay leaves now. We done added eight quarts of chicken broth. We added the vegetables. We just added six bay leaves. What y'all do on a medium heat is go ahead on, y'all, and put your top on there for 45 minutes. All right, y'all, so it's been an hour. Now I want you to go in there with salt to taste and pepper to taste. A little bit of cayenne pepper, depending how spicy you want it, okay? I ain't going too heavy with it. Now I want you to go ahead on y'all and give all that a good mix, okay? Now go in there with 16 ounces of lump crab meat, okay? Don't get the claw, get the lump meat, okay? Like so. Now, go ahead on y'all and just carefully, remember this is real hot, you gotta break all that crab meat up right there, okay? Get that there all broke up in the pot. Now go ahead up in there y'all with that sausage we done cooked up. All right, y'all, so now look, go in there with five pounds of some nice shrimp, okay? Of course, peeled and de-veined, okay? But you definitely want some big, beautiful shrimp. Now I'm going to go in there, y'all, with that tin of these beautiful blue crabs, okay? Now, a lot of people break them in half. I personally, I don't like breaking them in half just for the fact that I find it gets more shells all in my gumbo. So I'll just go ahead and leave them like that, okay? Like so, with all 10 of them. This is a big old pot of gumbo, y'all. This ain't no two or three people here. This is a party type size, okay? All right, y'all, so a heaping teaspoon of your gumbo filet, okay? About like so. All right, y'all, so after you add that gumbo filet up in there, y'all, go ahead on, let it cook for 15 minutes and shut it down. It'll be done. All right, as y'all can see, I have not mastered how much gumbo to make in the right size pot. I don't care how small the pot is, how big it is, I bring it to the top every time. So y'all check it out, this is what the inside of the pot looks like. I mean, it's stuffed full of shrimp, sausage, crab meat, along with the crabs, you see? You want that crab meat right there. I know some people don't do it, but see that right there, crab meat? Man, that's good stuff, y'all, I'm trying to tell you, okay? There's a lot of gumbo to feed. I don't know how many people, it's a lot though. All right, y'all, so like I said, about after 15 minutes, once you added your crabs and your shrimp and uh, all the good stuff, the gumbo was done. And uh, I don't want to head on and made the rice, so let's go ahead and make a bowl. So now, y'all, it's just time to go ahead on and enjoy your gumbo after you work. It's going to take you a good two or three hours, something like that, to make it, y'all, at least. But it's going to be worth it in the end. And like I said, we made a big pot. That's delicious. Got a little spice that hits you, but not too spicy. All the flavors from the sausage, y'all, and that shrimp and that crab meat. I mean, man, it's better than the gumbo you get at the, like when you go to restaurants, stuff like that, this gumbo is even better. All right, y'all, so go ahead in the comments, y'all. Let me know what you think about the gumbo, as well as what video you want to see, what you want me to make next. And hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I appreciate y'all.